next one that I'm uh, moving on to is the traffic light uh, formatting, where again, we have one conditional format. Now, again, you look at this, right? So because we use these I, uh, icons, it tells you, you know, what kind of, so let's say you have applied 10 rules to a table. You can immediately spot, you know, looking at this icon, you don't even have to read it or you don't even have to encode it to say that, hey, this has been applied to the margin field. I look at what format and I can pretty much go and spot the rule. So uh, InfoRiver brings a lot of these uh, usability enhancements so that it just makes it uh, very pleasing and easy to work for the product. So same thing here. Now here, instead of rules and color scale, we are using an item called classification. Now the way classification works is you're going to uh, get a lot of options for classification. And uh, if you don't like any of this, uh, you can choose a custom option. And when you choose a custom option, it is going to give you all of the scales where you can go and customize if things fall in a particular range, uh, use this icon, but then apply this particular color, right? So I can basically go and change it to some other icon right here and then click on apply and you will see that the icon changes. So you can play around with both the icon and the color combination right here. So let me go and change it back to this. And again, you can use uh, absolute value thresholds or percentage thresholds, right? And again, since margin is already a percentage, I'm just going with plain value thresholds. But let's say you have uh, margin and absolute numbers, right? Not percentages. Uh, you may want to say, or you know, even a survey scale, you take a customer satisfaction survey on a scale of one to 10, and you want to overwrite some of these settings, you know, you can go to percentages or values and do this. Again, you can control some items like whether you want to uh, these things to appear on the right of data, appear on the left of data. And you also have an option to show this as a new column, right? So I click on this, my icons move to a new column. Again, it doesn't make sense for icons, but uh, if you have a five star rating and we are going to look at that example quite soon, uh, you can make it appear in a separate column. Next example that I'm taking is it of uh, arrow alert. Again, very similar. You choose uh, positive and negative arrows. I'm not going to go through this example in detail, but instead of a traffic light, we have used uh, arrow-based formatting right here. 